Is a $25 survival kit with a 4.5 star Amazon rating any good? Let's find out. What's up everybody and welcome to Northeast Preparedness. Today I'm going to take a look at this 17-in-1 survival kit that I picked up on Amazon for $25. The first thing you're going to notice is the box actually says 15-in-1. So I'm not sure why Amazon listed it as 17-in-1. Another thing that I find kind of interesting about it is the fact that the sticker says made in China, but when you flip the box over, all of the wording is in German. But I didn't buy it for the box, so let's take a look at what's inside. Inside the box, there is a Mylar emergency blanket and two safety pins. The blanket is 140 by 210 centimeters, which is roughly 55 inches by 82 inches, I believe. The box that the actual kit comes in is halfway decent plastic. Seems fairly rigid. It is bulging quite a lot from the contents, so I'm assuming that everything in there is pretty well packed. It does have a clip on the other side and a couple on the front. So let's take a look at what's inside. So the first thing on top is a paracord survival bracelet. And on the bracelet, it looks like we have a whistle a small compass and a fire striker. Let's see if it works. So as you can see, I barely got any sparks, if any, from this ferro rod and the striker broke off so that's kind of a big fail on that although the compass actually does seem to be working correctly and the paracord itself feels good and solid let's take a look at what we got next comes with a bottle holder I'm assuming this clips to your belt and then the neck of the bottle just kind of goes through there. Next we have a small flashlight. I believe it's a single AA battery. Let's take a look. So yeah, it takes one AA battery. has an adjustable beam and a strobe setting there's another setting and I can't tell if there was a difference between the two or not but it feels fairly decent quality and next we have a tactical pen a twist style. It has a glass breaker on the end. And we have quite a decent size ferrocerium rod with the striker. Uh, I'm not actually going to try this out because the lanyard has quite a knot in it that I'm not going to mess with. But it does look like the same exact striker that they include on the Bear Grylls survival knife. save the knife for last as a survival whistle a survival saw one of those credit card survival tools it looks like it's got some cordage wrapped around it a serrated edge couple of sharpened edges which are not sharpened at all a can opener 
I believe this is a bottle opener, a uh, small ruler, and I think that's about it. Oh, it looks like it has a Phillips head screwdriver on the other end. It's another light, just a small keychain light. And a couple of cheap carabiners. Looks like these are locking carabiners. Very cheap, probably just good for hanging up some gear. Uh, I wouldn't put any substantial weight on them. Then the box, rather cheap. Uh, the hinge, I'm assuming is probably gonna break after it's been opened a few times. It does have an O-ring, although it doesn't look too promising. A little bit of padding inside. And finally the knife. It is assisted opening. And no flex whatsoever. Blade feels fairly sharp, semi serrated. Feels actually really nice in my hand. It's got a little bit of weight to it. Does have a seat belt cutter and a glass breaker. And for the $25 price tag of this whole kit, this knife is actually pretty damn nice. It's a no name brand. I don't see any kind of branding on it whatsoever. But yeah, this, I like this. Closes nice. Opens nice. This right here is worth the entire kit. So this is what you get in a $25 Amazon survival kit. Like I said, it did have a 4.5 star rating. Most of the ratings were four and five stars. The ones that were lower in the ones and twos basically said that they felt that it was rather gimmicky and kind of toyish and that the items felt kind of cheap. Others said that items were missing. I believe I've got everything that was advertised here. Nothing really feels too cheaply made, too toyish. I mean, you have to think this is a $25 kit. You're kind of getting what you're paying for. That said, do I feel like it's a practical survival kit? Not really. At least not as it comes. Um, I think you could make it practical. For $25, this could get you started until you could kind of build your kit up a little bit better. But you would have to get rid of a few things and add a few things. These are my suggestions. First of all, let's start with what I would keep and what I would get rid of. The box is pretty much a given because you're going to need something to keep everything in. So I would keep the box, I would keep the knife. This knife would definitely get you by until you could afford to buy something a little bit better. Keep the emergency blanket. Get rid of the gimmicky credit card tool. Get rid of the water bottle hook. Get rid of the survival saw. This thing is gonna break on you the first time you use it anyways. Keep the survival whistle. Get rid of the mini keychain light. Definitely keep the, uh, the bracelet, although the um, ferro rod striker kind of broke on it. The compass still works. I'm assuming the whistle probably works just fine. And this is a good probably six feet of cordage. I'm going to say to get rid of the tactical pen you're probably not going to be in any situation where a pen like this is going to come in handy. And as for the glass breaker, the knife has one on it that seems a lot more durable than this. Keep the ferro rod. That's pretty much a given. Keep the flashlight. Even though it's a little on the cheap side, it still works and it's still going to last you until you can get something a little bit better and get rid of the carabiners. They're absolute garbage. I don't think they're even strong enough to hold a pack up that weighs probably more than seven to 10 pounds. So these are trash. Now, what I would add to make this a little bit more 
usable in place of the tactical pen, I would toss in a glow stick. You'd use that for signaling. A little bit of light if you needed it. In place of the water bottle holder, I would add some water purification tablets and a water bag. This is a one liter water bag. I would add a Bic lighter. Some Tinder, these are actually Tinder Quicks. A few zip ties. A small amount of Kevlar cordage. Some duct tape. And a signaling mirror and a Fresno lens. This right here should all still fit in this case and it's gonna get you by a lot better than what originally came in this, including this pile of garbage back here. The knife, the ferro rod, the bracelet, the whistle, the emergency blanket, and the flashlight alone are worth more than the $25 that you paid for the whole kit. And if you were to go out and buy yourself a knife, a flashlight, paracord, a compass, pretty much everything that we kept out of this. If you were to buy those and even get decent budget options, it's gonna cost you a lot more than that $25 that you paid for this whole kit. Right here, with what I've added, you've probably got about $50 worth of stuff. And this could easily get you started. It would get you by in a pinch if you found yourself in a situation where you were stranded or lost or just needed something to get you by for a day or two out in the woods. This would definitely help you out, if not just make things a little bit more doable and comfortable for you. So if I was just getting started and I wanted something to toss in my backpack just to have in case of an emergency, this kit would definitely fit the bill. So that said, if you enjoyed this video or found it informative, definitely leave me a thumbs up. If you didn't, leave me a thumbs down. If you haven't already, please consider subscribing to the channel and I'll see you in the next video.